Eric, I'm sure that you've seen a lot of resumes and I believe recruiters have five or six seconds to scan it to see if it's a fit or not. So what tips do you have in terms of candidates or job seekers applying to jobs? And we all know that and we tell them, customize re your resume to the job you're applying. So what tips do you have? Yep. In so recruiters look for uh, a few things, right? They look for keywords, first of all. So make sure that the keywords that you have in the top paragraph of your resume match the job description, okay? So even if you don't have much experience with that tool, make sure it's in there mm -hmm. uh, because search engines in applicant tracking systems and other machines uh, won't pick up your resume and won't sort you to the top if it's not. If they ask what your experience with it is, say, I have moderate experience or I have little experience with it, but I understand it. I've you know worked with it. I've played with it, whatever it is. And that's usually fine. Uh, you just have to get sorted right in the first place. And so that's very important. But make sure that your keywords are in all capital letters, uh, well spaced. Make sure there's plenty of white space around each of your paragraphs for your experience and make sure those are very clear with dates and lined out very well so that the recruiter understands exactly what they're looking at very quickly. And do you think that it's okay to use the same words that say, they say team player? Can yeah. you use team player also in your resume? Absolutely, mirror everything in the job description. There's no reason not to. And uh, if, if you need a place to do that, you can do it at the bottom or at the top. Here are my key attributes. Don't try to get fancy and put a sidebar on there. Uh, that's not very uh, applicant tracking system friendly. It doesn't translate well uh, when you put your resume into that system. So make sure that everything is linear mm -hmm. and make sure it's in order. And is there any... Uh... Like, is it should be one page, two page? It depends. It doesn't on matter. Your yeah. experience doesn't matter. No, there's no such thing as a paper resume anymore. And the more information, the better. In fact, the more information you have, the more keywords you have in your resume, right? And that's what the machines look for. So it's fine. And is it important to put in every job accomplishment or what you have done? Like, I've increased, uh, I've increased employee engagement by 30% or I minimized turnover 20. Is it okay to have the accomplishment on numbers? It's very important to have that. And if you ever interview with Amazon, for instance, if you don't answer their questions in terms of those numbers, mm -hmm. then you won't get asked to do the next interview. So you might as well go ahead and put that on your resume so that you understand what the answers are, what you know ROI or what turnaround or what... Uh, accomplishment did you have in that situation, what you should do uh, when you're going through your job in the first place is every time you have a good uh, result or an attaboy or a good comment from a customer, internal or external, take a screenshot of that and keep it in an online PowerPoint presentation in Google Drive or whatever so that you always have that. And anytime ask you, someone asks you at your quarterly review, what have you done for me lately or what have you been doing? Well, here you go. And is it okay to have your resume kind of mirrored on LinkedIn or it should be kind of different on LinkedIn? Uh, it should be as close as possible on LinkedIn, right? So if you're only gonna include certain things on your resume for specific employers, that's fine. Include everything on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is a powerful search engine. Yeah. It also gets really high Google search results. Mm -hmm. So if your resume has the right keywords on it on LinkedIn, right? In your LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. it will show up on Google search results, which many recruiters use if they don't have a LinkedIn recruiter account. Thank you for those great tips, Craig. I really appreciate that. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of resume, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great question with Craig.